Hello everyone, here's a tutorial showing you how to get both of the Deep Stone Crypt raid chests solo on any class. These raid chests can drop a few different items, the new raid mods, any armor pieces or weapons that you've already obtained from this raid, and Spoils of Conquest, which is a new currency that allows you to buy old raid exotics from the exotic archive in the tower. You can also use these spoils at the end of the Deep Stone Crypt raid to buy extra raid loot. Both of these secret chests can be opened once per character per week, so this should total 60 spoils a week if you open all of them on each character. Not to mention if you've already beaten this raid either once or a few times, you can still get the loot you've gotten already, so this could be beneficial in farming for a certain weapon or armor piece roll without actually having to put together a group for the full raid. This first run will be on a Hunter, which I would say is the hardest class to do this on, but even then it's pretty easy. After getting across the initial out of bounds section, I will show you how to do it on a Titan and Warlock as well. To start, load into the Deepstone Crypt raid and clear out all of the enemies in the beginning to open the door and head to the Pike Race section. You can utilize the Frostbite glitch here to have a flawless and almost peaceful ride to the first secret chest. Simply park your sparrow outside of the heat bubble and then get on it from inside the bubble and this should give you a permanent shelter from the storm buff. Follow the path that I take to get to the first chest and I'll catch up with you after we get there. After opening this chest, I would suggest heading to the first encounter area. This way you can put down a rally flag and get max ammo for your sword, plus you will get the first encounter checkpoint, which can be helpful in case you somehow mess up and have to do the entire pike race over again. Entering the crypt security encounter also means you can just backtrack like 30 seconds to where we'll be getting out of the map. On Hunter, I'll be using the exotic boots Stompies, while on Titan, I use the exotic boots Lion Rampants to help get out of bounds. This initial out of bounds maneuver is for some reason the easiest on a hunter, but again I will show how to do the other classes in a minute. Once you get over this first wall and it says turn back, just keep heading forward and make your way deeper underneath the map until you get to the edge of the terrain where you can see the first encounter area. You'll need to jump a decently sized gap here and the easiest way to do it on Hunter is to use Bottom Tree Night Stalker. There's a ceiling here so you will need to let yourself fall a little bit in order to get over this gap, but you should make it if you swing your sword in between each tether shot. Thank you. 
Now I'll show you how you can do this on a Warlock and then on a Titan. If you just want to see the rest of the path on how to get to the secret chest, skip to the time on the screen. For Warlocks, I ran Top Tree Dawnblade, mainly because of Icarus Dash. To get over the initial out of bounds wall, I found it easiest just to use my Dawnblade Super, as jumping across the gap can be easily accomplished by using your grenade for heat rising. On a Titan, it can be a little annoying to get out of the map at first, but once you get past the initial wall, you can just sword fly across the gap very easily. Like I mentioned on the Hunter run, there is a ceiling, so you might have to let yourself fall a little bit in order to continue getting across the area. Now that we've made it across the gap on all three characters, here is the remainder of the path to the second chest. It's honestly very easy, and all you have to do is follow where I'm going, and if you need to, take it very slow. As long as you enter into the Clarity Control Loading Zone, and then eventually the Morning Star Loading Zone, the chest should be there waiting for you. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you could share this video that would be a big help. Also, if you'd like to talk with me and a bunch of other cool people who like Destiny, you can join my Discord channel with the link in the description.